O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall sing your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not allow us to fall into temptation, but deliver us from every evil. Amen. O Lord, have mercy upon us, and grant us your salvation. Bless your ministers with righteousness, and make your chosen people joyful. O Lord, save your people, and bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fights for it, but only you, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us, do not take your Holy Spirit from us. The Book of Leviticus, Chapter 26 You must not make for yourselves idols. You must not set up for yourselves a carved image or a pillar. And you must not place a sculpted stone in your land to bow down before it. For I am the Lord your God. You must keep my Sabbaths and reverence my sanctuary. I am the Lord. If you walk in my statutes and make sure you obey my commandments, I will give you your rains at their time, so that the land will give its yield and the trees of the field will produce their fruit. The threshing season will extend for you until the season for harvesting grapes and the season for harvesting grapes 
will extend until sowing season, so that you will eat your bread until you are satisfied, and you will live securely in your land. I will grant peace in the land, so you will lie down to sleep without anyone frightening you. I will remove the harmful animals from your land. No sword of war will pass through your land. You will pursue your enemies, and they will fall before you by the sword. Five of you will pursue a hundred, and a hundred of you will pursue ten thousand. Your enemies will fall before you by the sword. I will turn to you, make you fruitful, multiply you, and maintain my covenant with you. You will still be eating stored produce from the previous year, and will have to clear out what is stored from the previous year to make room for the new. I will put my tabernacle in your midst. I will not abhor you. I will walk among you. I will be your God, and you will be my people. I am the Lord your God, who brought you out from the land of Egypt, from being their slaves. I broke the bars of your yoke and caused you to walk upright. If, however, you do not obey me and keep all these commandments, if you reject my statutes and abhor my regulations so that you do not keep all my commandments and you break my covenant, I, for my part, will do this. I will inflict horror on you, consumption and fever, which diminish eyesight and drain away the vitality of life. You will sow your seed in vain because your enemies will eat it. I will set my face against you. You will be struck down before your enemies. Those who hate you will rule over you, and you will flee when there is no one pursuing you. If, in spite of all these things, you do not obey me, I will discipline you seven times more on account of your sins. I will break your strong pride and make your sky like iron and your land like bronze. Your strength will be expended in vain. Your land will not give its yield and the trees of the land will not produce their fruit. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Gospel According to St. Mark, Chapter 5 When Jesus had gone over again in the boat to the other side, a great number of people came to him. He was by the sea. One of the rulers of the synagogue, Jairus by name, came, and, seeing him, went down at his feet, making strong prayers to him, saying, My little daughter is near to death. It is my prayer that you will come and put your hands on her, so she may be made well and have life. So Jesus went with him. A great number of people went after him and came around him. A woman who had had a flow of blood for twelve years, having gone un undergone much at the hands of a number of doctors, giving all she had and being no better but even worse, had news of the things Jesus did and went among the people coming after him. And she put out her hand to his robe, for she said, If I may only put out my hand to his robe, I will be made well. And straight away the fountain of her blood was stopped, and she felt in her body that her disease had gone, and that she was well. Straight away Jesus was aware that power had gone out of him, and he turned to the people, asking, Who touched my robe? His disciples said to him, Look at all the people around you on every side, and you ask, Who touched me? On his looking around to see who had done this thing, the woman, shaking with fear and conscious of all that had been done for her, came and fell on her face before him, giving him a true account of everything. Then he said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace, be free of your disease. And while he was still talking, there came from the ruler of the synagogue's house, saying, Your daughter is dead. Why do you still trouble the master? But Jesus, giving little attention to their words, said to the ruler of the synagogue, Have no fear, only have faith. And he did not any let anyone come with him, but only James, Peter, and John, the brother of James. And they came to the house of the ruler of the synagogue, and he saw people running this way and that, weeping and crying loudly. When he went in, he said to them, Why do you make such a noise and weeping? The child is not dead, but asleep. But they all laughed at him. Jesus, having sent them all out, took the father of the child and her mother, and those who were with him, and went in to where the child was. Taking her by the hand, he said to her, Talitha kumi, which is, my child, I say to you, get up. The young girl got up straight away and began to walk around. She was about twelve years old. All the people were overcome with wonder. But he gave them special orders that they were not to say anything of this. And then he asked that some food be given to her. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We collect for peace. O God, who is the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom stands our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defence, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A collect for our safe preservation. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with your mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered 
by your governance, to do always that which is righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, let me accept calmly all that this day might bring me, and let me devote myself completely to your sacred will. Direct me and help me each hour of this day. Control my thoughts and feelings in all my deeds and words. When unpredictable circumstances arise, do not let me forget that everything comes from you. Lord Jesus, Son of God, it is better not to live than to live without you. I thank you, God, for the gift of this new day and for all the good deeds you will help me do today. Holy Spirit, help me to dedicate this day to my Lord and Saviour. Teach me to be just toward my brother and sister, never to provoke wrath or cause sorrow. Control my will and teach me to pray, to believe, to hope, to suffer, to forgive and to love. Amen. We pray for the work of your faithful servants throughout the world, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all today and forevermore. Amen.